How's it going, people? Nothing to drink to, but I just want to finish these off. Yeah, I've decided I'm going to redo Chapter 7 on my camping trip. That's the plan. I mean, I've already recorded it and uploaded it, but while I was doing the video, a new game occurred to me. So I'm going to save this chapter as a best of when I go camping. <laughs> chapter 8. Let's see what this one's like. Mormon's Epistle to Moroni. Little children have no need of repentance or baptism because they never do anything wrong. Right? They don't know any better. In that case, why was Adam and Eve punished? <sighs> they were innocent too. Probably more innocent than your average child. One. An epistle of my father Moroni. Written to me, Moroni. And it was written unto me soon after my calling to the ministry. And on this wise did I write un did he write unto me, saying, To my beloved son, Moroni. I rejoice exceedingly that your Lord Jesus Christ hath been mindful of you, and hath called you to his ministry and to his holy work. Three, I am mindful of you always in my prayers. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Continually praying unto God the Father in the name of his holy child, Jesus, that he, through his infinite goodness and grace, will keep you through the endurance of faith on his name to the end. You gotta work at faith. It isn't easy believing in a bunch of bullshit without any evidence. It takes a lot of work, but quite a support group there. I mean, it's enough to make anybody want to become a whatever the fuck they are. Nice group. Load you up with love. Oh. All right. We're past the salutations, I think. Four. And now, my son, I speak unto you concerning that which grieveth me exceedingly. For it grieveth me that there should disputations rise among you. Five. For if I have learned the truth, there have been disputations among you concerning the baptism of your little children. Well, you gotta know you're the fucking prophet. <laughs> or profiteer, at least. Six. And now, my son. I should have drank to my son. See? There's all kinds of possible drinking games you can get out of this gold book. I might have to redo this chapter, but differently. When I finish, what the fuck? May as well rake it over the coals just a little more. Then put it on the shelf. Pick up another book. Maybe I'll pick on the big book next time. <sighs> Probably King James. That'd be fun. I can fuck that all up. Uh, <laughs> six. And now, my son, I desire that you should labor diligently. 
that this gross error should re be removed among you. For for four, there's two fours. Uh, for four, this intent. I forgot about that little literary device. He was using it early on, and he stopped. Four four. This intent I have written this epistle. Seven. <laughs> Sorry. Get in case of the giggles, I think. Uh. <sighs> Seven. For immediately after I had learned these things of you, I inquired of the Lord concerning the matter. And the word of the Lord came to me by the power of the Holy Ghost, saying, Eight, listen to the words of Christ, your Redeemer, your Lord, and your God. He's the... It's like one big happy meal. <laughs> like a Swiss army knife. <laughs> he's all these different things. If you call now, give me something else you don't need. <laughs> Behold, I came unto the world not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. The whole need no physician, but they that are sick. Wherefore, little children are whole, for they are not capable of committing sin. Wherefore, the curse of Adam is taken from them in me, that it hath no power over them. And the law of circumcision is done away in me. Nobody told my doctor that. <laughs> Nine. And after this manner did the Holy Ghost manifest the word of God unto me. Wherefore, my beloved son, yeah, that would make a great drinking game. I know that it is solemn mockery before God that ye should baptize little children. Cat, taking them to church at all. Ten. Behold, I say unto you that this thing sh shall ye teach repentance and baptism unto those who are accountable and capable of committing sin. Yea, teach parents that they must repent and be baptized, and humble themselves as their little children. Eleven, and their little children need no repentance, neither baptism. Behold, baptism is unto repentance. <laughs> for this, for this fulfilling, Commandments unto the remission of sins. Twelve. But little children are alive in Christ, even from the foundation of the world. If not so, God is a partial God. You mean like the one who said, I'm just so interested in the Middle East. Yeah, he's not a partial God. Is the full meal deal these days. Even the competing religions worshiping the same God with just a different way of saying his name or referring to him. And also, God, wait, if not so, God is a partial God and also a changeable God and a respecter of persons. For how many little children have died without baptism. Probably a lot, especially during the flood. I guess they kind of got baptized. Everybody did.
That's it. They were all saved. They got baptized in the flood. <laughs> Thirteen. Wherefore, if little children could not be saved without baptism, these must have gone to an endless hell. Uh, Say that so. Fourteen. Behold, I say unto you that he that that he that supposeth that little children need baptism is in the gall of bitterness and in the bonds of iniquity. Damn it. For he hath neither hope, not neither faith, hope, nor charity. Wherefore should he be cut off? While in the thought he must go down to hell, thought crime alert. Fifteen, for awful is the wickedness to suppose that God saveth one child because of baptism. And the other must perish because he hath no baptism. Well, you know, I guess stillborns. I mean, the, doesn't the water break? Isn't that kind of a baptism? I don't know. I'm trying to help. Chime in. <sighs> Sixteen. Woe be unto them that shall pervert the way, ways of the Lord after this manner. For they shall perish except they repent. Behold, I speak with boldness, having authority from God, and I fear not what man shall do. For perfect love casteth out all fear. Seventeen. And I am filled with charity, which is everlasting love. Wherefore, all children are alike unto me. Wherefore, I love little children with a perfect love. And they are all alike and partakers of salvation. That's nice. Eighteen. For I know that God is not a partial God, neither a changeable being, but he is unchangeable from all eternity to all eternity. Isn't one enough? How many eternities is that? It's like a daisy chain of eternities. And changeable? I don't know about that, but his books are very changeable. I'm expecting a new one any day from some other prophet. You know it's going to happen. Never meant to fuck with that. All right. Eternity gold. All eternity to all eternity. Nineteen. Little children cannot repent. Wherefore, it is an awful wickedness to deny the pure mercies of God unto them. For they are all alike in me because of his mercy. All alike in him because of his mercy. <sighs> Twenty. And he that saith that little children need baptism denieth the mercies of Christ. It setteth at not the atonement of him and the power of his redemption. What's wrong with you? Twenty-one. Woe unto such, for they are in danger of death. Hell and, and an endless torment. I speak it boldly. So they'll kill you and send you to hell. That's... 
totally necessary, right? Gotta stop that other voice. They say that here all the time. I speaketh it boldly. God hath commanded me that they are in danger of death, hell. A barbecue that, that never ends and, and you're the one on the spit. Yeah, very sweet. Twenty-two. For behold, all that, wait, behold that all little children are alive in Christ. And also all they that are without the law. Those lawless ones. For the power of redemption cometh on all them that have no law. Wherefore, he that is not condemned, or he that is under no condemnation, cannot repent. And unto such baptism availeth nothing. 23. But it is mockery before God. God denying the mercies of Christ and the power of his Holy Spirit and putting to death, putting trust in dead works. 24. Behold, my son, this thing ought not to be. For the repentance is unto them that are under condemnation and under the curse. Ooh, curses are under condemnation and under the curse of a broken law. 25. And the first fruits of repentance is baptism, and baptism cometh by faith unto the fulfilling, unto the fulfilling the commandments and the fulfilling the commandments bringeth remission of sin written on gold <laughs> sounds just like it doesn't it I mean if you were writing a book on gold wouldn't you make it sound just like this book <sighs> 26 and the remission of sins bringeth meekness and lowliness of heart and because of meekness and lowliness of heart uh, cometh the visitation of the Holy Ghost, which comforter filleth with hope and perfect love, which love endureth by diligence unto prayer, and unto the end shall come, when all the saints shall dwell with God. 27. Behold, my son. I could be so drunk right now if I had done that. Maybe I'll save this for camping too. I will write unto you again if I go not out soon against the Lamanites. Behold, the pride of this nation or the people of it, Levites. In case he didn't know what he meant, he's writing to his son and he might have been confused. <sighs> have proven their destruction except that he should repent. 28. Pray for them, my son. <laughs> that repentance may come unto them. But behold, I fear lest the Spirit hath ceased striving with them. And in this part of the land they are also seeking to put down all power and authority which cometh from God. And they are denying the Holy Ghost. 29. And after rejecting so great a knowledge, my son, they must perish soon under the fulfilling of the prophecies which were spoken by the prophets 
as well as the words of our Savior himself. Thirty. Farewell, my son, until I should write unto you, or shall meet you again. Amen. He's got to go fight the Lamanites. He knows he's coming back, because it ain't in the script. And he's a prophet. Anyway, it's fucking fascinating. Don't need to dunk your babies yet. I guess, you know, maybe the water breaking was enough, you know. I mean, can't get holier than that. Peace, the fuck, out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. And chime in. Open channel. Bye.